Hello everyone and welcome back to E-Dogs Reviews. Today we're going to be doing part two of the Masterpiece Special. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Transformer Masterpiece MP26 Road Rage. So let's get into it. Let's get that out of the way. So here is the box. We have Transformer Masterpiece here. We have the racing flags there. We have him in his vehicle mode, which is a Chevrolet Stingray C3 model. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So we have her in robot mode, which will definitely go into her background. We have Dakara Tomi on the top right hand corner. She is a Cybertronian ground air combatant. And that's what the front of the box looks like on this side of the box we have her shooting up to her right hand side uh really nice on top of the box we had the transformer masterpiece mp26 road rage on the top on the back of the box we have the car mode we have the flight mode uh we have these weapons that plug underneath and uh, we have these these three right here, uh, Bumblebee and Wheeljack. We'll get to that later. It comes with twin cast, and that's about it for that. On this side of the box, we have the Chevrolet Stingray C3, and then on the bottom of the box, we have the GM logo and licensing on the bottom. So there you go. Let me brighten that up a little bit. Open this up. This is how it comes packaged. We have the accessories on the top, the cars on the bottom. So let's get the accessories out of the way. Now, right here are a pair of um, rear mirrors. You can put on the uh, figure if you want. I'm going to leave that right there. I don't need it uh, right now, but maybe one of these days I'll put those on. So the first thing is this gun right here. This is called the Plasma Discharger. It would help if they threw a little bit of silver uh, on this gun somewhere it's a little bit plain because of its size uh, you do have this handle which is optional you can just fold that up you can use a different handle if you want it's up to you this little thing here goes in the front of the vehicle when you have it in flight mode this is called the laser ram it is what it is and then we have this little guy let me see if I can get it in focus. Yeah, you have this little guy. This is a twin cast, which we have not gotten yet in the Legacy nor Masterpiece uh, 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 listing just yet. But we'll get it soon, maybe one day. Maybe we'll get a blaster, you know, you never know. So let's take a look at the car itself and this is the GM Chevrolet Stingray C3 model it was produced between 1968 through 1982 there's no license plate there which is a shame and the rear lights are not painted well, like an orange. I would say it's like an orange color. It could do 0 through 60 within 8 seconds. A 0 through 100 within 6.3 seconds. If you want to talk about quarter of a mile, we're talking about 16.1 seconds. So, pretty fast. Pretty fast. When you get it out of the box, the Autobot symbol is flipped up. I flipped it down just for this video because you don't really need 
two Autobot symbols there. And this is what it looks like underneath. So let's get some comparisons. Gonna get some comparisons around the comparisons. So we're gonna start off with uh let's start off with skit. And that's the way they look. And uh he's a Honda. And then we have Silver Street, which is uh, the special version of him. Uh, that is a Nissan Fair Lady. And last but not least, we have Sun Streeter, which is a Lamborghini. that one more time from the back and that is how that looks Now we're going to uh, start transformation. I will try to be as more clearly in the, what to do if you happen to have this figure. Um, so let's see what we can do with this. The first thing is the flight mode, uh, which is a topic I want to get through real quick. This figure does not come with the stage. I mean the flight stand. It does not come with that flight stand. You have to get it with uh, Trax. Uh, Trax is the only person you can get it from. You could probably find that same exact uh, stand on eBay somewhere. And you can buy like a clear version and you can just pop this on there. And you know, you can do it that way. But it doesn't come with it. So. What you got to do to get to the flight mode is the wings are right here. These two wings. And all you have to do is bring these up like so. Bring these up like that. You want to get them out of the way. So you want to turn them this way like that. So this angle should be facing that way. Like this take the rear of the car and you need to split it from the back all right and uh, you got to unpeg it from the side of the doors and you need to bring it up Make sure you get these, make sure you get all of this out of your way. Please be careful, don't try to manhandle these figures. It's getting caught up on something. All right, so let me see about that. Undo the nonsense. Right. Right. So you're going to have something like that. It's not neat per se. But you bring these out, you bring these arms out, right? And you want to simply just bring this up like that and just leave it there. You take these arms, 
and you want to bring it up on this white piece right here like that and then you want to rotate this arm like this you want to rotate it until this red piece pops up this red and silver part and it plugs into the side of this same thing on the other side you want to bring this up on this white uh what is that bicep and you want to be very careful make sure you hold it in both places the wheel and the lower forearm so this way you don't break none of this right here because this will break off take this piece right here turn it down you want to rotate it like that you want to go inside of here and you need to split these apart what i like to do is i like to take my whole thumb and just move it to the side i want the whole thing to move instead of pulling on this piece that's going to break it you want to go on the inside to do it same thing that side right now they are extended you want to fold down on an angle like that can't really see it let me see if i can get a better angle let's try from back here so if you want to fold down on the ankle like so and you want to bring it up like that so it should be something like this right now you can plug in to the side without any problems mine's a little stiff Like that. And you do the same thing on the opposite side. There's a slot. And where is the peg? The peg is on this side. On this side of this one. And you just peg that in together. Make some little adjustments here and there. And you take the rear half of the car and you want to just pop it back into place so you want to do it as an angle you gotta make sure this is all where it's supposed to be so you have it in an angle like this and if these get in your way again just gotta manage push it down Clamp it back together. Make sure you got both sides. Now this one likes to pop out. All right. Now the fins, they come up like this. Just arrange them to the left straight. Uh, another thing I just forgot to mention is this piece right here. So let's, we gotta go back real quick right we need to go in here with the finger and we need to pop up the uh this, the uh these little fins in the back so there's a fin here and then there's, there's a fin on that side so you just want to bring those up Like that and now we want to put this back together fix these wings again And there you have him in his flight mode. That's what it looks like from that angle, from the side, this side. You can bring this down if you want, you know, pretend like it's like the, the, the engines and stuff like that. Uh, this side, that's what it looks like underneath. And that's what it looks like from the front. You can take this 
RAM piece and we can stick it where the license plate should be. So you have that kind of going on. And then to top it off, you take this gun and we can pack it here where the stand should go as well. So we just plug this on. So you can have that going on kind of deal, or you can bring down the, the guns uh, to the side have two more guns laying down like that if you wanted to um, but I'm making them look different between tracks and road rage so this one is just gonna have this piece hanging there so yeah this is really nice it's really nice it's really nice so I don't have any uh, flying vehicles that kind of match with this so we're gonna skip the comparison right we're going to go into robot mode and since we're kind of sort of almost there we could take these tail fins we're going to take these tail fins we can fold them in you want to unplug the arms from the side you want to separate the back from the uh, the two doors from the front. Bring that up like that. Uh, we can turn the back portion right here. We can turn this around, get it out of the way. Take this gun, we will remove it. We don't need it right now. You want to bring up these guns that are on the inside. Bring these out since we're here. Like that. We'll come back to that in a second. You want to raise up these wings, get them angled. And then we want to bring up, oh no, sorry, scratch that. Let's bring forward and bring this piece back like this. And you want to raise up like that. Same thing, you want to bring forward like so, bring this piece back. And then right here, you want to raise it up. Take the hard top and you want to bring it up words like so, like that. It should be like this. And since we're here, we can get the head out. Like that. And since we're also here, we can flip this door around. Right? Now we have to plug the chest into these little tabs. There's a tab there and then there's a tab there. And there's these two pegs, there's a peg there and then there's a peg there. Just make sure we got all of that going on. like so we are going to focus on the doors we're gonna bring the doors up bring the doors up like so and uh, we're going to flip these doors backwards so we're gonna take the door right here and we're gonna flip it backwards like that same thing on the other side we're gonna take this piece right here 
and uh, we're gonna flip it backwards. All right, so you get this going like that. Take the back portion, just move it out of the way. And you wanna bring it up and you wanna plug it into these two holes. There's a, let me see. There's a hole there and then there's a hole there. And there's these two pegs. There's a peg there and then there's a peg there. Like so, so we got that done. You gotta bring back uh, the backpack. And right now it's, it's being caught up by the shoulder. So we're gonna bring that back, bring that up, plug that back in place. And since we are here, we're going to take these two pegs, there's a peg there, and then there's a peg there, and we're going to put it in a slot there, put it in a slot there. plug these into the side right so it should look something like that torso this section you want to turn around like that you want to separate the legs He won't separate. Oh, there we go. Now we separate. Now we separate. Okay. Move these out like that. We'll come back in a second. But take the side fenders, this section right here, and you want to pull away. And you want to bring the foot down like so. And you want to plug back in like that very simple let's do that again take the side fender this piece right here pull away and you want to move this whole piece down if you happen to have the legacy version it's actually the opposite uh direction they want you to go this way and put the foot resting on the front all right Make sure that's in the right place. Let's make sure that's in the right place. Okay. Take the side pieces right here. You want to bring around like this. Give them a turn. And they should fall into place. Like that. So you have your lower leg like that. Same thing, other side. Turn. Flip around. And you want to put that in place. Make sure that's all good. Let's focus on the hands. The hands have a really neat transformation because this is the hole. And what you do here is you have to turn this piece right here to match that hole. So you have it like this. And then you want to turn it all like that. And then you flip this over. The hand pops out. Same thing on this side. You want to flip down. You want to match that shape that's on his other side of the arm, like so. And then you want to turn it. Just like that. That's the other side that's done. Uh, okay, so all we got to do is clean up a little bit.
All right? The wings do get in the way. There's nothing that you can do about it. You bring this around like so. And we want to bring these outwards. And you want to turn the gun facing you. So it should be something like this. Let me show you. Give you an example. Right. So it should look like something like that. So you just got to mimic that. So you want to bring this down. Like so. And you want to turn this gun. So it's facing you like that. And let me see, let me see. Let me just look at the picture real quick. Okay, so let me see something. Okay, so in the picture it says something like that. It's supposed to look it's supposed to look like this. Right? And you gotta make sure this is locked in. Right now it's not. Okay. And here you have Road Rage in her robot mode. And again, I'm going to just nitpick some of the things I don't like about it. Um, let's start with the head. The head is like on this floating uh, peg kind of deal. Um, there's a bowl joint connected to like a little table right there. Um, it just floats there. It doesn't connect to anything. The backpack is a problem. Um, everything else, like the arms, are fine. The legs are fine. These these wings, they get in the way, kind of a deal. Um, that's about it. Now, if you don't like this this uh, look right here with the with the weapons, I like to fold them up, kind of a deal like that. But you can do whatever you want. Let's go into articulation. Now the arms are on the slider uh, right behind the, the wheel. So you can go all the way out like that. There is bicep swivel there. There's rotation at the wrist. And this is the range that you get on that arm. Legs. Can go out to there but if you move this plate that's in the front excuse me you can probably get the leg all the way out there knee comes down to there move this arm out of the way you can go all the way out that way on the leg on the thigh i should say bring this back there's a little bit of wiggle on the thigh but not much. Let's bring that out of the way. Backwards on the leg, it's gonna hit this piece of plastic right here. And no, right. And the lower part of the leg goes about that far. The feet can only move forward and backwards. There's no ankle rocker or anything like that. And again, the head is on a ball joint. You can go 360 degrees if you want to. You can make her emote if you need to. And since we're in that general area, that is what she looks like in the face. And she has a little bit of this red breaking out from blue. She has uh, Kion type eyes with a silver face. Let's talk about weapons. All right. All 
right, so we have this first weapon. And you have a choice of putting it either in her hand or you can fold this piece backwards and there should be a, a handle and a peg right behind it. So you have a choice of which one you want. It doesn't matter. And you can just place it in her hand uh, like this. Now that's going to give you like a loose connection. It's no, it doesn't really hold. Not even if you push the hands together. So what you like to do is you want to fold this back and you're going to see uh, another handle and then there's like a peg all in the back. And that's going to peg into this piece right here. Give you a much, give you a much solid connection. You just gotta try to get it locked in so you have something like that. Uh, next is this little gun here. I mean, her little ram, laser, laser ram, or what do you want to call it? Doesn't fit anywhere in the robot mode. And then you have twin cast. Wow. You can have sitting on the side. And again, these wings get in trouble. Let's get into some comparisons. All right, so if we were to use uh, Trax's uh, uh, picture that's on the back of his box, it would look something like this. It would be smoke screen that is the plus. I'm sorry, not smoke screen. Blue Street, sorry. Very sorry. And then we yeah, have smoke screen. Kind of have that kind of comparison going on. But if we were to go by the back of the box of Road Rage, we would have either this, which we'll touch on. A little bit and we have Bill Jack and we have Bumblebee now to give you a little bit of continuity a little bit of background uh, Road Rage is the bodyguard Slash advisor for Cybertron Ambassador Crosscut. She is well versed in alien cultures and generally cheerful, making her a very good diplomat. However, a chronic short out in her vehicle mode causes her to live up to her name in car mode. She is a snarling, swerving speed machine with little regard, if not utter contempt, for anyone else on the road with her. This is pretty. Uh, Embarrassing for her once she reverts to robot mode. And just a little bit, a little bit. Row Rage came to Crosscut's rescue when the ambassador was in danger, dangerous situations on a colony planet. He was impressed enough to invite her to 
be his bodyguard. So there's a little bit of that. And uh, to close out her Japanese background, Road Rage fled Cybertron as a refugee during the Great War and set her down in a remote quadrant of the galaxy populated by smaller alien races. Her huge mechanical form allowed her to become an efficient bodyguard and bounty hunter, working in exchange for energy. And over time, she became well-versed in the culture, customs of various organic life forms, even working as an interspecies negotiator. By chance, one day she came to the aid of Autobot Ambassador Crosscut, Crosscut, uh, um, escorting him out of dangerous situations on Colony Planet. Taking her skill, he invited Road Rage to become his personal advisor, bodyguard, and she returned to Cybertron for the first time in the millennia to be officially inducted into the Autobots when the war focus shift to Earth. Crosscut was tasked to liaison with humankind and arrange construction of Autobot City, leading Road Rage to find herself battling discontented human groups. Even after the complications of the project, Crosscut and Road Rage continue to work with each other, achieving much together. Between her official assignments, Road Rage assumed bounty hunting, uh, a bounty hunting including pursuing fugitive Flipside and Twincast, of which the former was believed to be a Decepticon spy. So that's a little bit of that. And with that said, they had their own story going on, and then they decided to add these new characters with the G1 characters, and they became a part of their team, even though we never saw them in the uh, cartoon version. And plus, you have to add the animated movie as well. But uh, since the crossover is there, and they are officially... Uh, announced it as uh, Autobots, uh, as you see. Um, yeah, they're there. They, they had to, you know, they're behind the scenes, if you will. So, if you enjoy this uh, video, please give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I do really appreciate it. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers, you know, kind of deal. Uh, to show you what's coming up next, let's get these guys out of the way. You can't lose Twin Cast. Uh, one question, why is Twin Cast packaged with um, Road Rage? What's up with that? Um, all right, so the first thing we're going to do, this is the new lineup going out. From here on out, the next masterpiece will be on the NPM 13 Blackout. And he will be matched up with his Studio Series 08 Blackout. So stay tuned for that. In order, we're going to do this by, by name. So we're going to go with the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Cliff Jumper, Studio Series Preceptor, Transformers Kingdom, Wolf of Cybertron, uh, Tigertron. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm still waiting on one person to come through the mail. We have the Galaxy Detectives Master B. And we have Quantum Stealth. The only person that's missing is uh, Powertrain. Um, hasn't arrived yet. And on other news, uh, just real quick. Um, if you haven't heard just yet, uh, they introduced two more uh, figures to the Masterpiece line. So let me just go through it really quick. So this is Skids. 
and they are making a new color variation of him and his name is MP58 plus B his name is Dia Burnout or just Burnout and pretty much it's going to be the all black version with the yellow streaks going through the sides and some other things so can't wait to see that and then they have the MPM10R star screen, which is the revenge version. If you do not know what that is, that is the version where he has all those uh, tattoos on his back. So let's bring this down. We're going to close this out. Let's bring these two back in. So, yeah. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Oh my goodness, why is his head back there? Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Like I was saying, sorry about that. I had to fix his <laughs> noggin. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.